guys it's sunny and Ovi, and i'm here to do another little journal read to see what's going on for you guys uh for the energy surrounding the 23rd of july 2018 right now today is the 23rd of july and it is 4 12 a.m eastern standard time all right so let's see what's going on for you guys i'm going to start out with pisces hey pisces hopefully you guys are doing awesome Let's see what's going on for you. Give me three cards of Pisces. One Pisces for the energy surrounding 23rd of July. Ooh. Hold on, Pisces. I don't know if you guys feel taken back by something or if you are going to be prone to being dizzy. You always thundering. If you're going to be prone to um, being very dizzy or lightheaded during this time. But don't take that lightly. Like, if you feel lightheaded, understand that, um... You're lacking something, whether it's energy, it's sleep, it's particular um, nutrients. Like, get get that checked out. Like, you know, ch check it out yourself or go to a doctor. Um, but yeah, it's like feeling very weird right now. All right, let's see what's going on from Pisces. All right, Pisces, Pisces. You guys are in a dilemma right now, and you're trying to figure out what to do. Um, some of you guys, you have to choose between a couple people, whether it's a Libra, a Gemini, or a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You don't really know which one is your match right now. Um, or maybe some of you guys, you're trying to figure out if you need to leave this person alone or continue to deal with them. Um, there is talks of past love coming back. Some of you guys are definitely thinking about your high school sweetheart especially for my older Pisces. Um, some of you guys, you are upset with yourself for um, not finding proper love right now, and that's bothering you. It seems as if uh, the men in your life, for my Pisces women, they're like, mm, it's like upside down. Things are upside down, whether they're acting completely different uh, in a negative way, or like you feel like you have to do every single thing just to make them happy and like they're never really satisfied and that bothers you. Um, I am picking up that there's going to be some issues in regards to your money. Be mindful of you trusting people or particular situations. Uh, be careful of get rich quick schemes, okay? Please do not leave your wallet anywhere. Be careful of um, websites that you put your information onto because I do see uh some of you guys being hit by a scam scammer during this time and if you are scamming yourself know that you will get caught within the next six uh within the next six months okay and there's a possibility of you doing jail time uh some of you guys you may have uh, i cannot talk what the fuck some of you guys you may have dreams of fish during this time uh you definitely need to connect with your higher self um your higher conscience or there's uh, talks of pregnancies for some of you. I keep picking up on Saturn. Uh, some of you guys, you're trying to figure out what you want to do with your career. Some of you guys may have money situation, a negative money situation, because you need to figure out what you want to do with your career. It's time for you to, to change your career. Rather adding on more to it or just changing it altogether. And some of you guys, you have a lot of faith and love for your career that it feels like you're going to divorce it or it feels like you're doing wrong by it because you have those thoughts right now with needing to change career but you know that you need more money and it bothers you so you have a lot of thinking to do you really do but good luck with that pisces okay all right who's next okay let's do water signs cancers Hey Cancers, what's up? Hopefully you guys are doing awesome. Let's see what's going on with my Cancers for the energy surrounding the 23rd of July. What's going on for Cancers? Give me three cards. You guys, don't give up. Don't give up. What we got right here? Okay. So some of you guys, uh, you need to deal with family issues right now. There's someone in your immediate family and or friends um, who's... Was it done? Oh, who's um, girl, who's uh possibly sick right now, and you know you may have to be the backbone to 
uh, the family dynamic or you know just stepping up to take care of someone even if you don't want to even if it's going to make you feel like incomplete um, because you aren't getting anything in return it's like that Okay, anyway, sorry y'all. I don't like working when it's, um, a, mm -mm. I don't like having electricity on when it's lightning outside. I'm very old school. But, um, what was I saying? Y'all, I got so distracted. Maybe some of you guys, you are very distracted when it comes to your life right now and just how things have hit you randomly. Um, you don't really know how to take it. Um, but to be very aloof, um, and surprised by it but like I was saying um, there's a particular family member and or friend who has a health problem that you need to take care of okay you have to help them and you know some of you guys may not want to do it or you feel obligated to do so because that's your family member that's your friend um, and you want to take care of them but it seems like you you feel unhappy about it because you aren't getting anything out of it um, especially if maybe someone promised you uh, they're going to pay you um, or you was going to have a place to stay but it's like it's not working out either you don't feel welcomed or you aren't getting the money okay and you know it's, it's like you, you have to start from scratch and maybe you had to take care of this person before okay or maybe you know you've always had fears of this person um you know getting sick and or dying i hate to say um some of you guys you are mentally preparing yourself for that to happen okay um i am picking up how some of you guys you may be um looking at the relationship that your parents had um and you're starting to see how your father was the master manipulator in the situation and how your father created the problems for the family okay grand grandfather uncle whatever the case may be um i do see where during this time it is meant for you to help people without expecting anything in return is going to help out your karmic situation okay um i am picking up that your emotional self uh dictates your financial situation so try your best to remain positive at, at all times be mindful of you having this poverty mindset or you feeling empty you know maybe you feel empty because of the lack of money or like the lack of um like having having support for yourself um i don't know but just, you, you guys feel empty right now even though you may be around a lot of people or you're helping someone you really feel empty so definitely watch your emotional self. Mm. Not the easiest energy, Cancers, okay? But good luck with everything. Scorpios, you all wanted me to keep going. Cancers, you wanted me to keep going. <laughs> Sorry. But Scorpios, hey Scorpios. What's going on? Okay, what's going on, guys? Let's see what's going on for my Scorpios. Give me three cards for the energy surrounding the 23rd of July. What's going on for my Scorpios? Good Scorpio. You guys are going to be very bossy. Very, very bossy. Um, you are going to discover some information about someone. And you may blackmail this person. And maybe there's a possibility of this black, of this person blackmailing you with some information that they find out about you. Um, but at the end of the day, I am seeing how it was all very petty and very tit for tatish. Okay, um, you guys need to understand your position within a particular situation or just with your everyday life. Uh, time right now is kind of running out when it comes to you needing to make a decision and your divine God and angels are going to take you out of that situation if you don't if you don't come up with the solution or if you don't come up with what what it is you really want to do um, so things could work in your favor if you stop prolonging things um, or it can work against you if you continue to deal with the same dumb shit Many of y'all, like, you need to put an end. You need to put an end to the madness. You, you need to put an end to, once again, you waiting for something. Um, you need to put an end 
to your lack of understanding. Be careful of you being judgmental during this time. Okay, I keep picking up that you guys are just postponing something or prolonging something. Okay, and it's like you're doing this to try to manipulate a particular situation. All right, um, I am picking up how you don't want someone to leave your life. But in reality, you're going to have to let this person go, okay? Especially my Scorpio men, all right? There's a possibility of you dealing with a, um, a wa another water sign, uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Or a woman who just graduated, either high school or college. Um, she's very smart, very sweet, very intelligent. Um, young, she's very young. Um, you know, whether you're playing her or... You know, you, you're you're kind of stringing her along. I, I do see this woman ignoring you. Like you're trying to get her attention, but she's ignoring you. But she will come back within the next either eight days, eight weeks, eight months, okay? Or within the month of August. Um, but the angels are saying you need to put an end to this relationship. It's not serving anyone well, okay? It's not serving anyone well. And for my Scorpio women, you are going to have to deal with your daddy issues. And if you have children, um, you're going to have to understand why the dad isn't a good role model during this time. Okay? Well, good luck with everything, my Scorpios. Alright, let's see. Capricorns. What's up, Capricorns? Hey, loves. Hope you guys are doing awesome. Let's see what's going on for my uh, Capricorns. Who's the cards going off Capricorns during this time? All right, Capricorns, you feel stuck when it comes to love. You don't really know what to do, um, and that bothers you right now. It's like you want to see the spark, you want to see the happiness when it comes to this person. That may be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Gemini. Um, you guys. Like the opposite, polar opposite. Um, but for some reason, there is a spark there. This is a karmic relationship that's weighing heavily on your mind. All right, and you're trying to figure out what to do. Um, I am picking up this. Some of you guys, you there's a possibility of you having kids by this person, um, or you have assets together. Why, right? whether you live together, um, you have a business together. It's like you guys created life uh, in a particular form. And, you know, that's that seems to be the downfall for you because at the same time, you feel like this relationship is holding you back. Okay. Um, or maybe some of you guys, this person got you pregnant to kind of trap you. Or maybe you got pregnant to trap this person. Okay. Um, I am thinking up that there's going to be new, new opportunity for... Getting your way out of a situation, it's like you guys are so close to unlocking a particular door or just getting yourself out of harm's way, per se. But it's just like you guys are just like, I don't know if you're reminiscing um, on how things used to be, especially if your past was better than your present, or if you're just upset by the fact that you don't really know how the future is going to be you know and it's just like you're just trying to figure out what to do but in reality like you're missing all the signs you know telling you hey this is how you unlock the door this is how you get out of this weird situation beautiful time to open up you definitely need to understand your creative self please work with um your solar plexus chakra during this time okay um some of you guys, you are starting to appreciate life a little bit more. Or some of you guys, uh, this is your first pregnancy. If so, congratulations. Alright, now let's see. Torres. Hey, Torres. What's going on for you guys during this time? Give me big cards for Torres. What's going on for Torres? What's going on? Taurus, okay. 
Taurus, it's a beautiful time to start new things, uh, make new friends, um, to relax. You guys have done a lot of good deeds, okay? Um, or, 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 it's time for you to get things started. It's time for you guys to make it all happen. And it all starts with you. It all starts with you understanding your direction, you understanding who you are, and you know what you have to say to the world beautiful time for giving speeches okay um and or expressing yourself uh to friends and family you know whatever the case may be in a positive way um i am seeing how some of you guys uh you can place yourself in tricky situations if you don't like if you don't get up in time you know whether it's you know you have to get up early in the morning or if you know you just let things pass you by you know I, I keep imagining like you know the little dunk thing where it's like a body of water and you have to sit on a chair and someone has to like throw something at a target and if they hit it like you um sink in the water I keep picking that up but I'm seeing like it in a negative way like not in a fun like haha joke type of way it's just like you can find yourself drowning in water or like just drowning in confusion if you kind of sit on pretty and if you you know don't take the opportunity to go out and you know apply for that job you know make a new friendship uh, go after the person that you know you like you know like right now it seems as if it's all about action and it's all about words and it's all about you putting yourself in a situation and not waiting for someone to come to you okay um beautiful time for you guys but it it can kind of be thrown in your face once again if you don't take it seriously okay finances look good finances will get better all right um virgos hey virgos What's going on for you guys during this time? How many three cards going on for my Virgos? What's going on for them? What's going on, chat? What's going on, Virgos? Give me three cards. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, Virgos? No, oh, no. Love. Okay, Virgos, you are in a tricky situation right now. Okay. You're letting your ego and your pride get in the way. It's time for you to mentally be the bigger person or be wise, be the wise one when it comes to any difficulty, especially if you find yourself going in circles with a particular person. Um, some of you guys, you know, you need to get yourself out of the circle. Maybe, you know, it's time for you to expand yourself and stop placing yourself in a particular mode or allowing for people to place you in this particular mode and and uh categorize you to be honest like it's time for you to emerge and become a brand new you very similar to the phoenix of the raisin um and i feel like you guys you know you are continuing to involve just so much but for some reason i feel you know for the next couple of days it's, it's going to be very important for you to take this transformation energy seriously oh yeah i the, um, the blood moon is happening so the blood moon may be affecting you guys during this time you guys are the first sign that I actually talked about the blood moon with um, so yeah so take this energy seriously good lucky energy for you guys uh, to get yourself out of tricky situations you guys are going to be able to um, funny because the Capricorns kind of got this message you guys are going to be able to see what needs to change you know what needs to happen in order for you to once again get yourself out of that situation um, but you are going to have to let go of ego and let go of pride and possibly be vulnerable to a particular degree. Rather, you're being vulnerable with yourself and you're understanding your scars um, or you have to be vulnerable with a, with a particular person. But um, I'm also seeing how some of you guys be careful of you ignoring your children during this time okay you know like just sometimes we we don't want to be bothered and we just like let them do their own thing just pay attention to your babies pay attention to them um i am picking up how some of you guys you need to you need to be um stimulated 
uh, with your mental. So some of you guys, you may uh, be trying to find out who you are compatible with during this time. So some of you guys, there may be talks of online dating. Um, or you're just trying to figure out like who you click with, you know, in your everyday life. All right. Um, and I'm seeing how for some reason you're going to be attracting a lot of Aries, Leos, and Tauruses during this time. And if you find yourself attracting these people, you know, understand the similarities that each sign have, like individually. Like if you keep attracting a lot of Tauruses, like find out what's making those different Tauruses similar, okay? And, and you know, so on, so on with other signs that you come in contact with. And, um, you know, understand how these people are a reflection of you and what you need to change and what you need to do um, and or sacrifice in order for you to really understand your rising in the phoenix type of moment okay but good luck with everything virgos i feel like it's a beautiful powerful time for y'all so really take this seriously okay who else let's see gemini hey gemini's i just started dancing when i came to y'all what's going on gemini's i hope everything is lovely let's see what's going on give me three cards what's going on gemini what's going on mm -mm. cards popping out okay the shit just fell right on my lap so something is just going to fall in your lap whether it's information um somebody literally falls on you um but be mindful of what you know falls into your lap Maybe some of you guys, you are receiving a delivery that you've been waiting on for a very long time. I am picking up that my older Geminis or my Geminis who still have older family members alive. Um, someone may slip and fall. I keep hearing, oh my granny, she slipped and fell and hurt her hip or she hurt her knee, she hurt her leg. So, you know, be, keep your eye out on your grannies, okay? Give me three cards. Going on for my Geminis. Going on for Geminis. Give me three cards. Okay. Mm. All right, gems. I'm seeing how you guys are going to be working very hard during this time. You're trying to understand your purpose right now. It's like you're being pulled in a direction. You're trying to figure out your calling and you're trying to figure out what you can do to get there. But something seems to be blocking you. You have to understand particular karma right now. Um, and you are being blocked for a reason. Your divine guide and angels want you to settle out some debts. Okay. And uh, waivers is what I keep picking up. But, um, you know, they want you to close out some things before you can move forward with a new journey. Okay. And or a particular person. I am picking up how your intuition is going to be very strong during this time. But unfortunately for some of you, you may be blocking it off. Like you're, you're having dreams. Um, you're having feelings about something. And I feel like maybe for some of you, it's, it's negative. Okay. Um, but, you know, you, you're blocking it off. You don't want to believe it. Um, so, you know, maybe you're drowning yourself in work. Um, or like creative play you know in order for you to not think about what you feel and what you see um, because a part of you like you, you don't want it to come true and I feel like it's once again it's stemming down to the health of someone okay um, I am picking up how you guys need to be mindful of your money situation I do see where you are going to be hit with karma with your money as well during this time um, for some of you you have to help out people during this time um, financially and you you can't you, you can't be um, upset about it that's just your karma right now um, be mindful of negative people I, I keep picking up on negative energy or bugs there's a possibility of your home randomly being infested with bugs okay um, be mindful of who you have sex with because I am picking up on STDs unfortunately for some of you um, or you just randomly get sick I keep picking up on this infested infested thing going on that keeps popping up um, I'm also seeing how you need to be careful of someone like you, you think that someone's your friend and they're not 
Or, okay, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. You and a particular person become cool. Um, and it's like that person's friend doesn't like how you and their friend are, like, cool. So it's like this other friend is, you know, possibly hating, you know, on the sidelines. Or they're talking bad about you to the person that you are now cool with, if that makes sense. So, you know, you are going to have to deal with that. And I feel like it's, um, you are going to be aware of who's talking bad about you and are gossiping uh, within the next, um, five days, five weeks, five months. Okay. For some of you, this possibility of you finding out within the next three days. Okay. Um, yeah. So, so be mindful of who you tell your business to. Um, I feel like the person that you befriended, um, who you're kind of cool with, the cards are saying they are helpful for right now, but don't trust them. I hate to say that, don't trust them. It's like, keep your eye on them. The cards want to like them, but they're like, girl, no. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. And you feel funny for a reason. You feel funny about it for a reason. But good luck, Gemini Chan. Alright, um, Libras. Hey, Libra. What's going on? I've just been dancing for the air signs so far. So, yeah. <laughs> What's going on with you guys? Give me three cards. What's going on for Libras for the energy surrounding the 23rd of July? What's going on for Libras? Alright. Libras okay it's like you're waiting you're waiting for a message to come through you're waiting for a particular approval you're waiting to get out of this circumstance and you're just like honey when is it gonna happen when am I gonna get my Prince Charming when am I gonna get my Queen like when am I gonna get what I want and honestly you guys I hate to say this and you can take it how you want to, but this is what the angels are saying. Be careful of you losing morals and you losing sight on why you started something in the first place. It's like you're looking at the final destination, but you're forgetting what you have to do to get there. The angels are also saying that some of y'all, you, you be switching up too damn much. It's like one minute you want to do this, do you want to do that? Do you want to do this? You want to be here, but then you want to be there. And it's just like, figure it out. What what you want? What do you want? Because at, at this point, we don't want, we don't know what you want. So, you know, you are going to have to, you know, sit and think about what you really want to do right now and just stick with it. Honestly, it's kind of like you guys are playing chess right now. And, you know, you need to be very wise when it comes to your first move. Like, like don't just be acting silly on the board. Like, really pay attention to each piece. Understand the, the value of each piece and learn how to operate, you know, when each piece needs to be moved. And I feel like, you know, once again, that's just where you guys are at right now. Like, you need to understand how to operate, you know, when to do this, when to do that, um, the value behind your action or the value um, with this particular thing that you want right now. You know, like, just really understand, like, the value. That's, that's an important word right now for you guys. Um, and, you know, once you understand that, you're going to be able to understand your worth as a king or queen yourself. Um, I, I kind of feel like you guys have the value to yourself, if that's even a word. I don't know. But you guys, you know, you really lowered your standards or you lowered yourself um, possibly because of a particular person. Um, they may have been a Scorpio um, or just... Either a Scorpio and a Crisis, a Leo, or um, an Aries or Sag. One of those signs has cause for you to just really not be the same. Okay. Um, and now it's time for you to get back on your shit. You know, it's, it's time for you to stop looking at why you aren't here yet. And I'm sorry that I'm blurry, but maybe you're going to have to clear your vision 
okay um i am picking up how you're wary is really affecting your health right now okay um right it just kind of just so you want to wait you won't have to wait and just figure out what the hell you want that's what's really going on right now and and be sincere with what you want and understand truly what you want in order for it to be um given to you okay um i am picking up on financial worries that's hopping out um but at the same time you know there's chances of financial worries being put to an end okay but you have to make the right move all right Aquarius says, sorry that I'm blurry. Hey Aquarius says, let me see if I can fix this real quick. All right, cool. Had to fix it. So my Aquarius says, there's a possibility of you needing to adjust things right now. Okay. Aquarius says, what's going on with my Aquarius says? Uh, for the energy surrounding the 23rd of July. Hmm. What's going on? Aquarius, what's going on with your Aquarius? What's going on with them? Ciao. Bless y'all's hearts, honey. We got all swords right here. So you guys are definitely in your head. And I don't remember what I said for y'all last time. I just know that y'all wanted me to, to continue with the reading. But... You guys have a lot going on mentally and it's just like the countdown before you guys explode. So make sure you don't explode on the wrong people or like just don't explode in general. Like kind of hold that shit in, you know, and I don't mean to say it like that, but like understand why you are exploding. You know, talk to the person that's causing for you to want to explode, you know, and let them know like how you really feel and like what's going on with you. You know, so I take that back. Well, I said it the wrong way, like just holding it in. But like, keep your composure. A better, cho better choice of words. Um, I just see you guys like just stressing out, and just like, like you're letting your stress and your worry really eat you up alive, and like you, you feel like you can't move. Some of you guys, you feel bind to a particular situation or you aren't allowing for yourself to walk away from it even though you know you need to it's just like you want to keep holding on even even though something is broken even even when you aren't happy and it's like you see that you have to get out you know that you have to get out but it's just like you're putting you're putting in every excuse out there as to why you can't do this as to why you can't leave this um it's obvious that you are unhappy even when you smile but eventually the card is saying you're going to tackle this mental exhaustion and you're going to be able to you know act like it was nothing but for now, you are really going to have to understand eventually that you're going to have to get out of this mental torment that you're putting yourself through. Okay. Um, I am seeing that the energy is a little bit lighter. Um, but it's just like you, you really have to be strong right now. This energy requires for you to be strong mentally. Honestly. Because I really see y'all breaking down. I do. I keep hearing that song by R. Kelly when a woman's fed up. So maybe my women, like, you're tired of something right now. Maybe you're tired of being pushed to the side. You're tired of, you know, uh, being in tricky situations. Uh, you know, so where these people don't understand you. There's a lot of hurt with these situations. When you're tired of struggling, being broken, being broke. Shit. Like, you... you you just don't know what to do no more. And then it's like your higher self is trying so hard to speak to you. But it's just like you won't pay no attention to it. But eventually you're going to have to turn your back on it. And wish it well. But good luck, um, Aquarius' child. Um, who's next? Fire. Fire. Hey, Leo. What's going on for my Leos? 
I keep hearing the words bed ridden and backstabbing. What's going on for my Leos for the energies uh, surrounding the 23rd of July? Happy birthday to my Leos. It's Leo season. Y'all, we are like, this year is going to be over before we know it. Um, some of you guys may be craving cotton candy during this time or carnival foods like funnel cakes, um, caramel apples. What else is at carnivals? Hot dogs, I guess. I haven't been to a carnival in so long. Let's see what's going on. Give me three cards. What's going on for my Leos? What's going on for my Leos during this time? All right, Leos. All right, Leos. Um, I am picking up for some of you. It's like a back and forth thing. I, I'm seeing issues with self-esteem. One minute you gain your backbone, or like the you know you're you're feeling good, but then next it's just like you you come back to reality, or you know you understand that you're still in the same predicament, and that breaks you down. That makes you feel powerless. It's like when you think about the negativity, it it zaps you back in. But it's like when you think about the future or you think about the good that can come into your life you know you you tend to like rise up so right now you're gonna have to figure out which energy do you want to stay in do you want to rise up or do you just want to soak and lay back like wh which one you want to do right now um this chapter is about you the energy is screaming leo come on make it happen make it work but the some of you guys are feeling guilty about having that backbone because there's a possibility of you stepping on people's toes or there's a possibility of you realizing that you're gonna have to let someone go okay um or you just don't want to hear someone's mouth and many of you unfortunately you will choose to just lay back and just let it be what it is. I am thinking up that uh, this is going to be a beautiful time for you guys to develop a new hobby and or a new passion. Okay. Um, but the same thing with the Aquarius. And it's really interesting because you guys are polar opposites. Um, something is eating you up alive. And it's the possibility of it stemming with you and like you letting things go on when you know it's not right you know like you you saying particular things to people or you doing things to you know particular people and you know it's not right but you still do it right now the energy is is like you're being hit with a lot of negative habits you know when it comes from other people when it comes from yourself because you know, the angels, they want you to take a look at everything that's negative in order for you to wash away with it, honestly. But, you know, instead of you looking at it and dealing with it, it's like you guys, you're, you're letting it consume you up. I am picking up how uh, abusive relationships are going to be prone to happening during this time, whether it's mentally, verbally, physically, emotionally. I am picking up how some of you guys, um, some of you guys are having twins during this time. So good news with that and congratulations if that's the case. Um, I am seeing that some of you guys are going back to a past lover because you don't want to be lonely and you have faith that this person will work itself out. But in reality, they're not going to be good for you. Leos, you have, you have a lot to take and count for. That's what I'm hearing. Um, understand that the only... Understand that you're only losing when you lose yourself. I'm going to repeat that again. Understand that you're only losing when you're losing yourself. So, what you want to do? What you want to do, Leos? Good luck with that, though. Aries, what's going on for Aries? Hey Aries, hope you guys are doing awesome. Uh, let's see what's going on for my Aries for the energy surrounding the 
23rd of July. What's going on with my Aries? What's going on? Give me three cards. All right. No, oh, Aries. Okay, so there's a sense of sadness um, with you guys, feeling lonely, trying to figure out um, if someone cares for you or not. I am picking up health issues going on, whether they are mental or just heart, then with heart problems and or separation. I am picking up that some of you guys you're missing someone during this time. And um, you may be doing some spying on this person or this person they are missing you and they're spying on you. Okay, um, especially if you've just broken up with the person, like with the from now to a year ago, like you just broke up with this person, and I, I see for some reason like the the breakup really hitting you, cause it's like there was love there, but unfortunately it was just more of a physical attraction, um, and. You know, even though you guys had this sex or uh, physical attraction, like, you had a soft spot for this person. And it's just, you're thinking about, you know, everything that you and this person went through. Like, it's hurting you. And, you know, I see you kind of breaking down um, or possibly needing to talk to your friends about this. Um, I am picking up how some of you guys, you feel guilty for having a rebound type of relationship, especially if you've just recently broken up with someone, okay? Um, I am seeing how some of you guys, you need to get a new job during this time, and there's a possibility of you having good luck with um, a new employment and or a new position within the next three days, three weeks, three months, okay? Um, the cards are also talking about movement, needing to... Um, some of you guys are moving to get a better job. Or you're moving to be closer to someone. But I, I keep picking up on this energy of just being scared. Being scared. Some of you guys may feel rejected by someone. And it okay, how can I explain this? Some of you guys, if you are if you are away from your partner for um, a very long time, you may decide to spend a lot of time with friends and family because you don't like being lonely, or you find a new lover because you want that connection so yeah but there's a lot of loneliness going on you guys have to be around someone um so understand you know why you have to just be in someone's presence understand why you know why you're feeling lonely right now and um you know it'll, it'll help you out it will but good luck with everything aries all right so saggies hey saggies Let's see what's going on for you guys, uh, for the energy surrounding the 23rd of July. Let's see what's going on for my Saggies. Can we be cards going on for Saggies? Okay. Uh-oh, what's going on? Wait. Okay, sorry. Um, you guys are going to be at odds for some reason during this time whether you're being hit with a lot of dilemmas or um things are just going to be very odd to you for some reason and you, you have to get out of your comfort zone something new will arrive and you're going to have to realize that you have to, that you have to get out of your comfort zone in order for you to really step forward into this new opportunity with um with the courageous and spectacular type of energy there's good luck for you but you know you you're gonna have to um really deal with some inner issues right now really interesting because the it's, it seems the theme that seems to be the theme for the fire signs um yeah so saggies definitely definitely deal with um any self-esteem issues that you have going on right now and I don't feel comfortable saying self-esteem issues 
I don't. But it's just like you you guys need to get out of hiding. Okay? Either um, something is going to be confessed uh, in regards to you. You're going to be noticed for something. Um, or you are going to want to be heard and or be seen. But the cards are recommending that you know what you're talking about. You know what you're getting yourself into. Um, you know, but I, I feel like it's something weird. It's something like very random and spontaneous that you want to do or just kind of out of your norm. And it's like you're really going to have to adjust yourself to these new changes. Okay. Um, and you know you can't be afraid of it. I feel for some of you, you may be moving in with your partner during this time. Um, I do see that new love is coming in. Okay. But this person, they may still be stuck on their ex. So you may have to deal with that drama. All right. Um, I am picking up that some of you guys are having knee problems during this time. And or Charlie horses. Drink more orange juice and eat more bananas if you can. Uh, that's popping out really, really strong. Um, there's blessings upon the womb. So if you're trying to conceive, more than likely it will happen within the next um, five days, five weeks, five months. Okay. Uh, some of you guys, you may even find out that you're pregnant in the month of August. Some of you guys, you need to paint. Paint, paint your room a different color. Some of y'all do not paint. Do not paint someone's character. Like once they show you who they are, don't dress them up the way that you want them to be. I am seeing how that's going to be a problem. Some of you guys, you're getting the stop. You're getting this energy for you to not follow through with something. But you're going to do it anyway. You're going to be very stubborn and do it anyway. That's why there may be this odd energy. Like you don't feel right. Oh Lord. If you go against your angel's wishes, honey, know that it's going to be bad. And the angels are so petty. They can be so petty sometimes. So they like, okay, go ahead. We already told you no. Go ahead and do it. But don't call me when this motherfucker act crazy. Okay. So I can just see that playing out now. But... But yeah, but oh honey, you're gonna have to deal with it, I guess, if you if you want to. But yeah, just don't put yourself in tricky situations. Alright. But hope you guys enjoyed that. Good luck with everything. And I shall see you next time. Bye.